her own camera. It's on. Go. Okay, so we were living in Mississippi, and it was winter time, probably, uh, probably a little after Thanksgiving, and all the kids were at home. Mother and Daddy were gone somewhere I don't know where, but uh, we were just at the house, and. There was a neighbor, uh, some people from New Orleans had bought some property up close to our property there in Mississippi, and the man's name was Mr. Hasselback. And my brother Frank looked out the front door of the house and he saw Mrs. Hasselback going up the dirt road and he didn't know why because it was cold outside and she was walking up the road. So he goes out to see why she was walking up the road and she was crying and trying to get to the store where there was a telephone because her husband was injured. And so my brother Frank got on his bicycle, runs around to the store and calls for an ambulance to come to help Mr. Hasselback. In the meantime, I went up the hill where Mr. Hasselback's house was and found Mr. Hasselback had a, a trailer hooked to the back end of his car and he had loaded rocks on that trailer. And when he got up there, he was gonna dump the rocks out on the road where the road had been washing away. And in order to get the rocks out of the trailer, he thought he would just disconnect it from the car and let the trailer tip up and the rocks would roll out. Well, it didn't work out that way because he had a safety chain on there. And when he disconnected the trailer, the trailer rolled back and trapped his hand between the tongue of the trailer and the safety chain and nearly pinched his two fingers off. And he was trapped right there and couldn't move. And that's why Mrs. Hasselbeck trying to get some help. Well, I put a rock behind the wheel of the trailer and then got in the car and let it roll back just a little bit, which released his hand from where it was trapped. The ambulance came, picked Mr. Hassel back up, took him into Bogalusa to the hospital, uh, and they wanted to amputate his fingers and he wouldn't let them and he made them put him back in the ambulance and take him to New Orleans and the hospital in New Orleans reattached his fingers. And then he was of course sick for a little while but right before Christmas came back up to Mississippi with his hand all bandaged up. But from that day forward, Mr. Hasselback Mr. and Mrs. Hasselback owned a company in New Orleans that they sold tobacco products and candy. And every time that they came from New Orleans to Mississippi after that, we got two huge grocery bags full of candy for the entire <laughs> family. Every time they came up, they were so happy that we managed to save them. Now, after that, almost anything that we wanted, Mr. Hasselback would agree to, right? So my dad had, well, we had 10 acres of land there, but it was all hillside, you know, and we had this one spot that was probably about three quarters of an acre that was flat right down at the end of the, uh, of the land there. And daddy always called that his garden spot. Well, what it was was, bushes grew down there and we never, it never was a garden. And so every time he left the house, you boys need to get down there and clean that garden spot because when I get home from work today, I want to plant tomatoes. Well, there wasn't no way in heck that we were ever going to get tomatoes planted because it, we couldn't get them bushes cut. As fast as we'd cut them, they'd grow back up. So summertime, me and Frank sitting there Daddy says to us, you boys clean that garden spot so when I come home I can go plant something. Well, we sat around and didn't do nothing. Until about three o'clock in the afternoon, mother comes out there and says, you boys better go 
down there and be working in that garden spot or your dad's going to take a limb and give you a good beating when he gets home. So we went over to Mr. Hasselback's and asked him if we could borrow his tractor and bush hog and clear the garden spot. Well, Mr. Hasselback says, no, I'm not going to let you drive my tractor, but he said, I will come over. So he came over there and he bush hogged that entire three quarters of an acre and went up the hillside. He must have bush hogged five acres of land out there that day, had it just as clean as a whistle. So me and Frank sitting up on the front porch drinking iced tea about five o'clock when Daddy shows up to come home from work. Then he walks, gets out of his truck, comes up on the porch, well, boys, you got that garden spot clean? Yes, sir, she's ready, ready to go. Okay, well, let's go look. So he walk out to the end of the yard there and he looks down the hillside and he sees that, that garden spot's all clean and he turns around there and he says, so what'd y'all have to pay Mr. Hasselback to clean that garden clean? <laughs> He knew exactly what we'd done. <laughs>